No, thank you for your email. I know that you said that you were not able to group objects or that some of them lay outside of the work plane. So let me show you how to edit your work plane. You go to edit grid here. You can change it to bricks because bricks gives you enough of the uh, the width and length to work with. Mine was uh, 10 feet by 8 feet. So we multiply by 12 and we got 120 inches by 96 inches and then we update the grid. Now, when you have objects that are outside the grid, they're going to be in the shadow. So notice how this dresser is in the shadow. Also, you if you may have in the shadow if it's too tall. Now, there I don't know of a way yet. I haven't been able to figure out how to change the height of the work grid. So if you do have like a china cabinet, like I think you were saying earlier, that is too tall, you can shorten it. You can put it under the elevation or you can um, just have shorter dimensions like this. So let's say, let's pretend maybe it is too tall like this and let's say I want to group and see, so it did cut off this top that I would have had here and and then when I, when I, when I do it here, it, it could, it, it does show that, oh, I could have made it taller because it's above, because uh, it's in the shadow right here and then when, it, and then when I do, say okay now I do want to group it let's try and group it there and then so it does get cut off yeah so that that's fine okay what you want to do though is make sure that it is on the ground so this number should say zero in its elevation and then and then we can uh, group and ungroup and uh, let's do this so and then you'll kind of get it back and then we'll, we'll group it there and then you know it, it will cut off so that's fine but you do want to maybe shorten it uh, so that it does lay in your work plane and of course if it's outside of your work plane because it's in the shadow you want to put it in your work plane okay so those are things uh, that you can do try those solutions and see what you can come up with so that you actually can have your China cabinet show. Now, for you, I know this that you can't just cut off the top because it won't look like a China cabinet because you do have that awesome decoration on the top. So just shorten it, okay? This is make it a shorter cabinet, and that way you can still see the design. Uh, but you don't want to cut the top off; just cut off from like make make the length of it uh, less of a length, okay? Okay, so. Good luck for good luck on that. Um, let me know if you have more questions.